keep it secrets to different bills Hey, don't go dim it, you need it, I got it listed, yeah You wanna make it, I'll show you just how to make it, yeah I got all the rarest bills, and I ain't done, yeah Move from the finish to making bills like a prospect Flow space and slashes to catching us with a lot threat You keep the medals cause the real ones coming up next Only scratch the surface, still they try to drag my name in dirt They try to bring me down, see me win, you ain't like me Yo, what's good, my nephews and nieces? This is your favorite uncle, Uncle Demi, and today I have another special banger for you. Today we're gonna be looking at my Sigma build, but before we get into the video, make sure you drop a like, subscribe, as like of the video, push the video to the recommended, and of course, subscribe and put your note again for my daily uploads. Without further ado, let's hop straight into the video. Okay, so this Sigma build, again, you already know I'm always about making rare builds, and the Sigma build is probably one of the most rarest builds you can make and the beautiful thing about it is that this sigma build is just literally comp as it comes 69 249 with a seven foot wingspan you can make this build i already have the build video but i added cat breaker so remember you know i had an 89 driving dunk with a 79 vert well now i have a 93 because i added four cat breakers here and then i have an 80 vert I add my one cat breaker there so now i have gold posterizer right of course i have an 83 three ball where i'm able to be able to shoot 87 pass accuracy which is crazy i'm able to literally just drop dots all day 80 ball handle 70 speed of ball i can dribble really good defense high block got silver rebound chaser anything and everything that you'll want you'll be able to get what i like to do with my sigma build is actually have him at the center spot really really crazy toxic at the 6 9 80 rebound with silver rebound chaser is perfect enough but i you i do like to use him at the center spot when i'm playing in the park or in the twos or that type of sort again if i'm playing in the wreck most of the time so far they haven't put me at the power forward or the small forward position which is perfectly fine but again you can't ask for a better build in my humble opinion if you're looking for a rare build that can do a little bit of everything like if you want to be able to run randoms which i'm about to do i'm about to go in a theater and run with randoms having a build that can dribble that can shoot that can play defense that can rebound that can you know do anything and everything it's going to be comp because obviously you never know what you're going to get when you go in here in the theater with randoms but this is just again like i like to get on now have some fun and sometimes i like going into the theater so we're gonna go rock out in the theater so just go ahead sit back relax grab that bag of popcorn and i'll be back in about three seconds all right so let's hop right into it so again as you see as i'm loading up in the theater i don't even know who i'm running with and this again is you get a mixed bag when you're out here in the theater running with randoms and it's funny because when i was in here a lot of them were like yo like um what you doing here running with randoms and i said you know what that's a good question <laughs> that is a good question but sometimes you just want to get on and just just play with other people like you know you just get on see what you got now remember there's skill based matchmaking so i do have two gold plates with me i'm actually uh what is this i don't know if it's considered bronze i'm a bronze plate um i have not played with this build enough um i usually be running with my lockdown as you know but you see i got a gold plate you know guard and i have a gold plate center so again in my humble opinion i'm like yo i actually have a decent little team now this situation here again like i said about making sure you you know having a build that can do a little bit of everything they actually put me at the two spot i have a pure lockdown like a literal pure lockdown on me if you did not see in the beginning he has a 91 still and he had a 96 perimeter defense he is a 3 and d2 guard that's where you get most of the 3 and d2 guards i mean that's really what most lockdowns are called um in this game is three knee two guard because they kind of do the same thing they have like a lot as you see right there he gets that passing lane still right off rip because he has a very high um you know still obviously and then again you go to get an easy three but for my i'm like thank you okay cool so they giving me the ball now i do know i have a lock on me so i have to be very careful as you see i'm trying to protect the ball i'm getting i'm getting guarded by every single person when i went down the floor just now but my man right here actually has some contact dunking ability so that's dope we both are able to finish the ball strong usually what i like to do is when i have my sigma and i'm going against centers i definitely want to take the ball up court um i definitely want to iso that big center and try to get some easy buckets in this case i need to be a lot smaller as once again the delayed steal on passing lanes is crazy now i can't remember what my sigma has i think i have silver interceptor but silver interceptor does not really work well missing a wide open jump shot here i am in the corner easy opportunity to get to the basket but again i'm trying to be very 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 cautious of not getting ripped um i only have an 80 ball handle and this man has 
a 90 still. So you got to be very smart when it comes to that. You know, my mom ain't raised no fool. I ain't out here just about to just sell for my own team. Now, I do have the ability again. Once I get the rebound, I got an 87 pass accuracy. I got gold dimer. So I get to help out my teammates. Actually, I have silver dimer. I got to keep, I have to play with this build more to max out all my badges. I don't have all the max badges out yet. But what I will do is I will go ahead and play with this build some more. Maybe I go on a wreck today. I can drop a wreck video too. But this build is fun. And I, I'm also going to be looking at, you know, getting making like a Swiss Army knife version. Um, that's gonna be really dope. But another thing here, I got a 72 standing dunk. So easy standing dunk right there. And as you can tell, my takeover meter, just by getting two assists, one rebound, and having two points, I'm almost right there at getting takeover. My point guard already has it. Good defense right there. And again, I'm pushing down the court, hoping that they give me the ball. He does not give me the ball off rip. You know, sometimes they don't, you know, they don't, you know, he got take. He don't want me to be great. Triple threat, looking for the screen, going straight to the basket, contact dunk right it's just easy money sometimes you don't have to get too cute with it just be you know high iq just go out of that triple threat set a little bump screen go straight to the basket 93 driving dunk go with posterizer yeah go ahead and take advantage of that once again my man is literally like straight up thinking i can't you know contest his shots as if and again a lot of people shoot like that because they do not think that you have a bill what's called sigma has perimeter defense but i do have a 74 and i do have bronze challenger so along with his bronze challenger and me jumping it is going to contest his shots but i'm not really faulting him on that because really a lot of people if you don't have perimeter defense you can just do that all day and shoot, shoot in front of people and not have an issue but in this case i do have perimeter defense so you know he's actually throwing up bad shots don't leave me open barbecue chicken of the jump shot i think that's one of the smoothest jump shots i have i will say this my jumper in my humble opinion is probably one of the best jump shots you can have for an 83 or lower um shooter and it's really good for um catch and shoot because i feel like most of the time i will be in catch and shoot situations so it's a very up and down catch and shoot type jump shot i'm not really necessarily looking to try to iso somebody dribble and shoot with that it's not really that type of build i do have an 80 ball handle but i'm very smart with that but again you know it's all about preference you can make a different type of base if you're gonna be more of the off the dribble type Again, I got to give my man love, yo, because he is showing me love. He kept on passing me the ball. That's dope. You see, I'm one little tick off from getting takeover. And again, right here, triple threat. As you can see, I go from triple threat. He sets the screen, right? I'm He's not over. He's a straight lockdown. But as you can see right there, I'm able to get through and get the nasty contact dunk. And I'm able to get takeover. So, yeah, as you can see, I do have my takeover here, which is, again, was not difficult to do two assists one rebound and nine points and now i have ultimate take and i have my two-way tenacity but i really feel like if you're smart and have the iq like i spoke on you should have a lot of fun with this build as we wrap it up but y'all let me know in the comment section what you think about the sigma build what would you change differently do you have the sigma build and also let me know about some rare builds that you might have that you're interested in me trying to make a video on but other than that it's your favorite old head uncle demi i'll be back really really soon on the banger man you know when i say back soon on the banger you know exactly what i'm talking about i'm talking about tomorrow man i'm out